Hello, this is Ray Davis. I'm with Fast Car Decals, and uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to do an actual install. I'm actually going to do it. Uh, I had a couple of people ask me to, hey, uh, we understand you how to talk us through it, but we want to see you do it. So let's let's do this install. And uh, this is a 2018 Jeep Wrangler, the JL, the new series. This is a, a very popular vehicle right now. The hood stripe just looks outstanding on the Jeep Wrangler. And so we're going to install it and uh, do this as a dry install. And we're doing the center hood uh, hinge method. So I got the, uh, I'm going to get the camera set up and then you can watch me install it. Again, this is Fast Car Decals and uh, we'll be right back. Okay. To install this uh, stripe kit, we're going to need our squeegee and a knife or a pair of scissors. Actually, works pretty good. We're going to hinge it this way. I'm going to start off taking my time and getting the backing off. I'll try to go about halfway. Taking my time. As you can see, I'm under a shade tree. It's cool. A real hot day would not be a good idea. Take it back. About midway. Okay. Lift that backing up. I'm going to take my knife or a pair of scissors and I'm going to come across it. Like such. Discard that and I'll take my finger along this line here and make sure there's no little fuzzies that get caught up under there and they will because it is static will cling to the to the stripe make sure there's no little tree fallings or anything that's fell in there or gnats I'm going to bring this back around I'm going to bring it back down slowly I'm going to start with my where the line was and I come all the way across you can see that's starting to come up on me. So I'm going to pull that up a little bit, relieve some of that pressure, and just take my time. Take my time and bring this around. Put it down a little bit further. See how it's starting to crease up a little bit? I can relieve that pressure by lifting that up. And with the Avery Supreme Wrap, she'll fall right into place. And of course, I'm going to go over it. Now that's one side. Go ahead and install the other side. paddle handy. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll come over on this side. Pull this backing away and actually hold it with this backing. And then I will lift it up with my paddle and I'll push it forward starting in the middle going across. And just take my time and push that a little bit at a time, maybe go about an inch or so at a time. And this is one of the great things about the Avery Supreme Wrap. It's got the air channel release. And I try to get it as far as I can, as far as I can reach. That's pretty far. So now I'm going to come over to this side. And go ahead and take off this backing. Where I left off. Relieve some pressure. Bring it back. Take 
take my time. This is no hurry. And if something goes wrong, you can pull it back. And pull that stripe up. And reapply. You can see I'm kind of getting a wrinkle. So what I do is just release some of that pressure, kind of lift it up. Maybe even leave it lifted just a little bit. Work it out. Work it towards you. That way you're pushing the air out this way, you're not pushing it in. Don't take your time. And I'm hoping that there is some bubbles in this. Uh, that way you can see how easy they come out with the air release. Okay, installed. Now, the last thing that we have to do is take off the pre-mask. The way I do that is I'll start on a corner. I'll take my thumbnail and get that going. And I've told you this many times, never take pre-mask pre off like this. Always leave it parallel with the, uh, with the stripe. Take your time on this procedure. If you see it coming up, put it back down and just kind of use your paddle again. Bring this pre-mask off. Keeping it down. Looking for any type of lifting. Don't see any so far. Ah, I do see a bubble though. That's good. I see two. So we're going to take those out. Let's see how we do that. Oh, I see three. Good deal. I actually wanted that to happen. Last one I did, it didn't. But I want to show you how easy getting those bubbles out of it are, is. got a couple of one two three four five six bubbles so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the phone or take my camera off the thing there and I'm gonna get it and show you real closely how these bubbles come out all right so I'm hoping you can see this bubble right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work it out Work that one out. Ah, oh, it's not coming out. Good. I'll show you another technique for getting that out. And then we'll work these bubbles down. And then we're going to take our knives. And we're going to put a little air release hoe in there. And there she goes. Bubble gone. Just a small prick of the knife. You can see here's another one. There we go. It's kind of a humid day. So a lot of this is probably humidity bubbles. Let's see if this one will just come out. See, that just came right on out. I wanted to show you both. Try to rub it. If it doesn't come out, take your knife, a little pin, just do a small little prick, and it will come right on out. And as you can see, we have a nice looking installed hood stripe on the 2018 Jeep, the new JL series. And I hope that helps. Sorry, I'm not a great cameraman. Like I said, I am a stripe man, trying to be a cameraman. But uh, it's not that hard to install if you just take your time. The, the Avery Supreme Wrap really makes it a joy to put on. It's very forgiving. And if you take your time, you can have a worry-free installation that, uh, that will give you years of enjoyment on your vehicle, on your Jeep Wrangler. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, I'm going to do more videos, but they're going to be more of watching me install it. That's what I'm hearing everybody tell me. Hey, don't tell us about it. Show us, show us what, what we need to do. So that's what I'm going to lean toward. So again, thank you for uh, watching, and please like us and subscribe. And this is Fast Car Decals.